Now we will work on for 2011 Math 112 Test 2. Uh, I will try to do three problems here, number 14, 15, and 16. Number 14. Let me zoom. Number 14. Uh, I need to simplify this. Basically, we want to put this into one single fraction. Now let's see what is the LCD of uh, 3x, 4y, 5x, and 6y. As for the numbers, 3 and 4 give me 12. 12 and 5 give me 60. 60 and 6 give me still 60. Now for the variable, we choose the highest exponent for each one of them. Basically, we get 60xy. And then from here we see, we will adjust each fraction uh, uh, and to get the equivalent fractions. Now let's see. 3 times what gave me 60. Uh, I will multiply by 20, right? So 3x times what gave me 60xy. I will multiply by 20y. Now 20y times 2 give me 40y. 4y multiplied by what give me 60xy. Uh, 15x, right? Now so 4y times 15x give me uh, 60, 60xy. Now on the top, I multiply by 15x give me 45x. Now 5x multiplied by what give me 60xy by 12y. So on the top, if I multiply by 12y, I will get 48y. And finally, the last fraction. Uh, 6y times what give me 60xy that will be uh, 10x so on the top I multiply by 10x I get 50x now I can put them together under one fraction under one denominator and on the top not all of them like terms but uh, for the y parts here negative 40y minus 48y that will be negative 88y and then as for the x negative 45x plus 50x that will be plus 5x now that's the answer now uh, uh, but some students may prefer to write the 5x first and then the negative 88y that's also okay in other words i will accept if you answer the question this way Basically, you reverse the order of the terms on the top. Okay, this one also acceptable. Now, number 15. 2 thirds minus 3 fifths x equals to 7 tenths. Uh, let's see, what is the LCD? 3 and 5 is 15, 15 and 10 is 30. I think that's pretty small. So let's use LCD method. I multiply this by 30. The first fraction will give me uh, 30 divided by 3 is 10 times 2, that's 20, minus 30 divided by 5 is 6 times 3 is 18x equals to 30 divided by 10 is 3 times 7 is 21. And then I start to doing the movement. I move the 20 to the other side. Negative 18x equals to 21 minus 20. Negative 18x equals to 1 x equals to 1 over uh, negative 1 over 18 okay now uh, you can try do that with uh, the conventional method but i think in this case because this the lcd is small it is more reasonable for us to use uh, uh, lcd method now let's take a look number 16 16 what is the LCD 
of this equation 3 and 12 give me 12 12 and 6 still give me 12 uh, 12 and 5 give me 60 I think that's not too big so I multiply this by the whole uh, equation by 60 the first term the first fraction will be 60 divided by 3 is 20 times 2y is 40y minus 60 divided by 12 is 5 times 7 is 35 equals to 60 divided by 6 is 10 times 5y is 50y plus 60 divided by 5 is 12 times 4 that's 48 okay now then from here we start moving things around uh, which one I will move first I think I will move the 40y first so negative 35 equals to 50y plus 48 minus 40y negative 35 equals to 10y plus 48 right I'm combining the y terms there and then I will next move the 48 to the left hand side and then when I compute that I will, I will get negative 83 equals to 10y and finally I divide by 10 okay I don't think I can reduce it so I will leave it like that now that's for number 16